Lucky Bowholes. Come on, baby. You can make it. You can make it. Almost there, bro. Dude, that's a huge freaking pothole. It's not even a pothole. It's like a It is a crater. It's a meteorite. <laughs> meteorite <laughs> crater, dude. A more shallow. redfish thing? This uh, is the biggest pothole yet. I know that's soft right there. I have to get out and test that. Do it for the cause, brother. What Mark does for fishing will truly, truly amaze you. My truck is like, quit being a you know what and come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? We finally made it to our third spot, <laughs> which is Sportsman Road, West Bay. As you can see, we got the boat launch here or the kayak launch. Uh, we, try, we tried the Seawolf thing, it just didn't work out. All right, we're going to go with Old Faithful. We're going to start off with the paddle tail, the hoagie, swimming jack, search and destroy. And then we'll move on to uh, more finesse type lures if we need to. And we got to get, gotta get the, uh, <laughs> the first bird's nest out of the way. All right, the game plan is to go all the way to the end to the channel, but hit these drains right here. See if we can get a flatty or two. Oh, there we go. Flounder, flounder. I got him. Flounder, 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 flounder. Oh, dang it! Oh, there we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. <laughs> Big ball of grass. We got him. I knew I saw a wake there. there. Might be some more right there too. Let's hurry up and get him in. This this guy is gonna be a slot. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be a low end. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he might be pushing it. He might be pushing it. All right. No, yeah, he's a slot. Boy's a slot. Slot 20 inch raid. On the hoagies again. Let's just actually, let me just. We gotta abide by the laws and regulations. Some massive blow ups over there. All right, stop bending, bro. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. 20 and a half. Slot red, baby. That's a good eating red right there, Son. You're gonna make some nice dinner. All right, I gotta stop with the country accent, but yeah, man. Saw that wake movement in the grass. He hit it. Hoagies again, coming through, man. Seriously, what can really stop these hoagies? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I knew I saw a wake there. Oh, he's a good guy. This is, this is not a bad red. He's running everywhere. <laughs> All right, guy, where'd you go? Come on, calm down. Calm down. You get me into the weeds. <laughs> oh, this is a really good guy. I don't want my knots to break. Yeah, he's a good red. He's a good red. He's a good red. I wonder if it feels so heavy, got all that grass. Come on, buddy. Come on, amigo. Come on, amigo. Oh yeah, that's a nice red. I saw that wake there. I saw a little bitty wake. Cast it right at it and he blew it up. Blew it up, man, blew it up. Oh, no, 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 don't go behind me, buddy. Don't go behind me. Don't go behind, oh man. He's behind me. Oh, dang it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. He right here. He right here. Whoo! Wow, that's a big red. Dude, that's a huge red. Wow, what are you doing in these little small marshes? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? 
Dude. Wow, that's a big red. Oh. Goodness gracious, what is he doing here? I'm like lost for words, man. I don't even know what the heck you're doing. I don't even know what I'm doing here. What are you doing here? Man, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Look at that beautiful, beautiful red. Look how he just, his, uh, his profile just matches the water really nice. That's why they can stay hidden and just sabotage these little shrimps and bait and mullet and whatever's in the water. Oh man, that's a big red fish. Wow, 25 and a half inch, 25 and a half inch redfish in this small little one foot marsh. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he's big. He a big boy. He choked that hoagies. Oh my gosh, I gotta do some surgery. There you go. All right guys, we are done with West Bay. It was actually, it turned out really good. Only fished for two hours and almost hit my limit on reds. Very, very happy with the results considering that we were actually trying to um, <laughs> go for flounder at uh, Seawolf Park, but that's, that just didn't work out. Maybe next time. But now I'm going to drop off my two fish to my friend Patrick at his Chinese restaurant. He said he's going to cook it up for me. So let's see what he can do with these fish. I know you can't see it, but we got 20 and a half slot red and a 25 and a half inch slot red actually pretty excited to see what he can do with these um i dropped out the fish they will cook it up and then uh, patrick will give me a text when it's ready to eat all right guys this, this place is pretty local right here we're in the gallery area this is right here right behind me richmond avenue as you can see ambassador restaurant chinese restaurant Hey, what's up, Patrick? <laughs> this is Patrick Wayne, the I'm owner Andrew, of Ambassador. Hey, what's up, hey? Hey, thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much for inviting us, man. I really do appreciate it. I love I'm, I'm, fish anytime. No, seriously, I'm, I'm really interested to see what this fish is all about. <laughs> no, seriously. All right. Sounds this good guy's the biggest jokester I know. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Try opened in 1975. Um, my parents opened it. Uh, okay. My mom's still here. And we try to uh, keep quality up. We just uh, okay. provide great customer service to customers. Provide like a you know, really cozy uh, ambiance. And I, think, I feel like we, just, we, we fit that really well. Yeah, obviously, you're 40 years in and it's still doing well. So yeah, I mean, uh, you're doing something right. Yeah. Uh, nice. So these, yeah, these egg rolls are they're, they're, they're made in house. We make them in house like twice a week. Um, we don't use anything like this process we made. We all make everything fresh ingredients. Not um, even down to our sauces. We don't use don't, like, their hot sauces. So we uh, we brew this hot sauce for about like four or five four hours, and then it's a ginger it's a ginger uh, hot sauce. Nice. So it's really good. All right, guys, check it out. Homemade egg rolls. He recommends this as an appetizer. If you didn't catch it, all the sauces are homemade. So I'm I'm hungry. I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna see what it is all about. Usually you're supposed to eat egg rolls with your hand, right? But I'm gonna be sophisticated here with my fork and knife. Mmm. Mm, that's good. Very crispy. You can tell it's it's homemade. The uh, Chinese noodle we call jajangmyeon. Put some ginger hot sauce, and then you put it, uh, the the this one is like a kind of like a vinegar and the soy. And the dumplings are made in house too. Uh, that's right. Oh yeah, everything everything is everything's awesome. made here. You hear that, guys? Everything <laughs> made in house. <laughs> everything's here. <laughs> Thank All you right. Very much. So these are the um, pan-fried dumplings. I believe it's pork, and here's the sauce that um, she mixed up for us. Let's let's try it out. That's good, dude. That's really good. All right, guys. They just brought the redfish out. This is what I caught earlier. Um, it was pretty big, so they had to cut it in half. They're cutting. They're gonna. They said they're gonna cook it two different styles. This is the first style. It's like a Chinese spicy. I don't even know what it is, but it has a lot of spices. I can smell it, um, and a lot of vegetables. Also, they brought out some spicy cabbage. It looks really good. I'm about to dig in. Man, I don't know what to say, man. This looks amazing. I don't even know how to eat this, but we're gonna try it out. Ooh, that looks good. 
That's a big piece of meat right there. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. It smells very spicy. It's not spicy? No, I don't mind. I don't mind. It's, it's very strong. It smells really good. Dude, that looks outstanding. Oh, that's really good. The the meat because redfish is very bland. Yeah, very bland. Very bland, but this oh this is really good. That's amazing. That's really good. What so what would this dish be called in Chinese? We use the black meat sauce and have it The redfish, the meat is usually bland. Um, so you have to add a lot of seasoning and uh, spices to really make it taste really good. The way they made it is outstanding. I mean, this this 25 inch redfish that we that I caught, we pretty much tore it up already. Um, it's really really good. All right, guys, the second half of that redfish that I caught is here. It is steamed. A different way to cook it. The first way they use spices and jalapenos, black bean sauce. This is way. This fish finished? Yes. How's it cooked? Patrick, this is steam. This is steam. steam. Yeah, this was a big redfish. That's wow. no boom. All meat here. Wow, that's outstanding. Oh man, this is this tastes better than that. This was good, but this is bad. this this is really really good. I thought this was good. But this is better. I didn't think they could outdo themselves, but they did. We just finished eating. It was absolutely phenomenal. The food that he cooked, I encourage you guys to come. Ambassador, I don't know, what's the physical address here, Patrick? 4326 Richmond. 4326 Richmond, right in the middle of Galleria. You want some uh, great Chinese food, great service, price is just right. Um, I don't think he has these on the menu. I brought these over because <laughs> I wanted him to cook fish for me. Anyways, Patrick, thank you so much for inviting pleasure, us, man. Pleasure. I'm so stuffed. Thank you. He's a good friend of mine. Um, food was awesome, dude. Thank, thank you, you, Mom. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to, you know, show you guys the different types of, um, I guess, Asian foods that Houston has to offer. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time.